in the Australian tradition of little Aussie battlers, how about this one? This is the Stesco 480 Renegade, and it is a little ripper. When the going gets tough, you want to be nice and comfortable to dig in for the long haul. This little Aussie digger's got a great little comfortable helm position. It's well laid out and everything well within view with a bit of protection from the little short windscreen and all your knickknacks can stay well out of the elements on the little shelf. When it's time to bring out the heavy artillery and hover fish, you want a nice big casting platform and that's exactly what we've got. It's very, very stable because of the wide beam in the boat. Up front, we've got a nice little bowsprit to keep the anchor out the front. You've also got a rotor moulded anchor well down here and it doesn't go clang, clang, clang when you're in that nice little sweet water. This one's got the factory option of the Minn Kota Riptide remote control electric motor. We've got one of the four different floor mount positions for the pedestal seat. And look at the cavernous storage under the floor. And if you're keeping your catch nice and fresh, here's a huge, big plumb live well. I really like this little casting platform at the back as well. Underneath, we've got a 32 litre fully plumbed live bait tank. In the middle, you've got full access to the battery the plumbing equipment, the bilge, and the fuel filter. And over in this side, you've got yet another cavernous storage. Out the back of the boat, there's a boarding platform on either side, makes it really easy to get on and off the boat, particularly if you're out having a dip on a hot day. And one of my favorite all-time motors, this is the little Yamaha 70 horsepower four-stroke. Gets this boat up and rocketing beautifully, really quiet, really smooth and totally gutsy. Under the floor, this boat's carrying an 80 litre fuel tank with side deck fill, which is just terrific. Give you plenty of range, particularly with that really fuel efficient little Yamaha F70. There's side pockets in each side and typically to Stesco, the construction strength is enormous. It's got an internal keel all the way through and a beautiful rib structure and that's really closely spaced to give this boat massive internal strength. How about this for terrific stability? It's a time-worn theme, that open side console tinny, but they've done it particularly well. You've got maximum usable space, nice big casting platform up front. It's a boat that, that two or three people could go and cast lures out of all day, fish baits, and have an absolute ball. On the water, it's got exceptionally good handling, like foolproof handling. It's got a strong set of chines on the outside of the hull and some press strikes underneath, which give it really sharp grip and turns. You could throw it around just literally like a golf cart. I just got out of this Tesco uh, 480 Renegade and I've got to tell you, that was so much fun. That was so much fun. Handles like a beast. I was asked to sort of get it a bit airborne and I must admit it, the hull sort of cut through the, the wake of the other boat fairly well, so getting it airborne took a little bit of going, but we did get it up there and it landed beautifully and it was, yeah, I'm exhilarated at the moment. It's stable on the water, so again for lure fishermen, it's, it's a good sort of hull that's going to work for going up the creeks or fishing out in the bays and if it does get a little bit choppy, the stability still is maintained and it's good on, on the boat. Comes with a really pretty wrap, you can see that blue wrap looks fantastic. Uh, and it's got a 7 inch hummingbird sounder, so get up into the rivers with the minkota and catch some brim and some flathead. Uh, and probably on the right day you could head out to the ocean if you're not too scared about the open transom. But um, certainly didn't have any, any water coming in the back there, felt, felt really safe. Our test boat was about 35000 on a Stesco trailer, which we think is very good value for money for what is a beamy and decent length boat. Inshore, offshore, or just dagging around on a beautiful sandy beach. The Stesco 480 Renegade, it's a true blue Aussie hero.